Hey guys, so recently I bought an Action Replay DSi off Facebook Marketplace, and it was a struggle trying to figure out how to make it work. I ran into a lot of issues that I wouldn't have if I just knew some current knowledge about the Action Replays. I wanted to make this video to help any other people who want to get slash have Action Replays lying around, and can't get them to work. There is like little to no knowledge on Action Replays, so that's another reason. First things first, if you know anything about an Action Replay, you may know about the white screen of death. As soon as I got my action replay in the mail and put it in my DSi to try, it turned white upon opening. This freaked me out because I remember it happening to my old action replay when I was a kid. And as a kid, I was too stupid to try to search up why, so I just got rid of it instead. But it actually doesn't mean your action replay is completely broken. The white screen of death was a term I kept hearing when researching why my action replay turned white when I opened the software. Basically, all it means is that your DSi or DS console you're using for your action replay is updated to a newer version. For example, my DSi was at version 1.4.5. You can check its version by going to the system settings and looking at the top right corner. My action replay software would show up on the DSi on the home screen, although when I went to click on it, I received the white screen of death. Because my action replay wasn't updated. So what you're supposed to do is update your action replay to correspond to the version of your DS device. How do you do this? Well, you need the USB cord for the action replay to connect it to your computer to then update it to the 1.4.5 DSi software or whatever software for your DS that you're using. If you're using a DS Lite, it's a bit harder to check what version it is. Although I'm pretty sure you can find out by using PictoChat and opening and closing your DS. I know that sounds weird, but I think it's the only way to find out for a DS Lite. I'll link a video in my description that might come in useful. The only reason I don't know as much about the DS Lite is because my DS Lite worked for my Action Replay, and I'm honestly unsure on its version, as I never bothered to check. But the DS Lite did not work for Pokemon Black and White and Pokemon Black and White 2. It only worked for Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. And I think it's because the Pokemon Black and White games count as DSi games, and obviously the DS Lite isn't a DSi. I really wanted to use my action replay for Pokemon Black and White, so I was dedicated to make it work on my DSi. Going back to the USB cord, I didn't have one, and I'm going to assume many of you guys watching don't either. These USB cords are obscure. I looked for one in my city all day and didn't find one. You're going to have to purchase one online, and luckily for you, I found the right cord off Amazon for a good price too. They don't say it's for the action replay DSi, but people in the reviews say it worked well for updating their Action Replay DSIs. Plus, it fit inside my Action Replay and connected to my computer just fine. I'll link the USB cord in my description for anyone who needs to get a new cord for their Action Replay. Again, it's pretty cheap, so if you want to play for your Action Replay, then it's definitely worth it. And it's better than buying the official one for $50. Now, once you have the USB cord, how are you supposed to update it? You'll have to search online for the correct version to download for your Action Replay. Remember, you need the same version that your DS device is. For me, I needed 1.4.5 for my DSi. For anyone else who is using a DSi, I'll link the version 1.4.5 needed in my description. After downloading the update version, you'll follow through all the steps, which is basically just clicking yes, 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 and go until it gives you the final step of updating the version to your Action Replay. If your Action Replay is connected with the USB cord to your computer when you do the update, this should all work. If it says it didn't work, try it again. For some reason, the first time I did the update, it didn't work, and I just had to do it again. The second time did work for me, though. After that, you take your Action Replay out of the computer by taking it out of the USB cord, and then put the Action Replay into your DS device. At this point, you should be fine. If you updated your Action Replay to the right version for whatever DS you're using, it should be working. For me, I finally didn't have the white screen of death, and the action replay software opened up properly. I tried Pokemon Soul Silver, and it worked just great, loading up my codes on my DSi. Then I tried Pokemon White, and it didn't load. When I clicked Start Game on the action replay, it froze on the screen. I tried all the Pokemon Gen 5 games. Pokemon White, Black, White 2, Black 2, none of them worked. At this point, I was genuinely frustrated and was getting a headache over it all. What was it now? Why was it so difficult getting the Gen 5 games to work? As they should work on a DSi, since they're technically DSi games. I wanted to give up, but I also didn't. I was really dedicated to figure out the issue, mainly so I could use the action replay for my Gen 5 games. If I haven't already mentioned, a lot of the information on the internet for the action replays are literally decades old. 
that or it's hard to find information for very specific issues you may have with your action replay. So part of my problem this whole time was the researching was like finding a needle in a haystack. But after digging for hours, I finally found it. A video by X Adaption. 13 years ago, they showed me what I had to do to make my action replay work for Pokemon Black and White. Their video was horrible quality, and they blasted one of those generic iMovie songs, but it was okay, because they saved me. The reason why my Gen 5 games wouldn't work from Action Replay was, well, I honestly don't know why or the reason. All I know is that I had to reset my Action Replay on the Action Replay Code Manager. If you need to do this as well, you'll have to download the Action Replay Code Manager for DSi. I'll link that in my description. Unfortunately, resetting my Action Replay meant deleting all my codes for all my existing games, which sucks. But with the code manager program, you can easily bring back the game's codes manually by dragging them over. I used to manually type out the cheap codes on my action replay when I was a kid, which was brutal. Especially the shiny codes for Pokemon, those were always the worst. After doing this all, I put in my Pokemon White game into the action replay and started it up with the codes, and it loaded. No freezing, no white screen of death. Finally, my action replay was working properly. I definitely went through way more than I really should have to make my action replay work. If I knew this information, I would have been so grateful. So the whole point of this video is to help people like me if they also want to play with an action replay DSi in 2024 and beyond that for Pokemon or non-Pokemon games. Technically, the last part for fixing the action replay for the Gen 5 games could also work for any other games that came around the DSi's time if they're not loading up. I hope this video can be useful for any action replay needs. I know it's pretty rare these days that people will even use an action replay. I still think there should at least be one video that's not a decade old explaining on how to fix them. Yeah, I know I could have just given a step-by-step -step how to fix slash use your action replay DSi in 2024, although that's not my video style. If anyone has questions about their action replay DSi's, then leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer anything. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video of mine. Thanks for watching.